Hello, everybody. Just sitting here as the year winds down on December 4th, 2019, thinking about life. The weather has changed, the leaves are gone, cold has set in. It's trying to snow and rain in the Northwest today. But you know, no matter what you want or don't want, like or don't like, desire or repulse, what God has created for us to enjoy this day is going to happen. None of us controls the weather. And such is life. God balanced it all by putting it into motion and moving it in total synchronized energy. It can be predicted. He writes about it in a book known as the Bible, the Holy Bible. There's only one of them on earth. It's God's Word. It's His love letter to all of His creation. Now, if there's any question, that's you and me. To learn the Word and knowledge that God provides us, is to have a step ahead on the rest of the world. Because most people don't want to talk about God. Selfishness is the foundation of all sin. And sin will never be rewarded by Creator God. Now, if this little discussion is too heavy for you, just relax. You may learn something. Things don't happen by accident. They were pre-planned in advance for your life if you know and understand and have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into your own heart. He promises and tells us all about it, that he has a plan and purpose for our life, but until you become a child of God, you'll never know what that is. It is in that promise that all your great blessings and benefit as recorded in the Holy Bible will materialize for you. So it's nothing to play games about. It's nothing to deny. It is truth, and it is prophesied and proven throughout the Holy Scripture. That's why nothing is the same once you are born again. The old things are passed away. The new things are before you. And there's a whole world of wondrous opportunity. If anyone would have told me I would be writing a blog and producing books 45 years ago, I'd have said, you're nuts. I don't like to write. I don't know how to type. I hadn't taken a typing class since 1959. That's a lot of years ago. And I don't know how to run a computer. And the message that kept coming into my mind as I thought about it was real simple. So what? What does that have to do with anything? Are you going to make excuses or are you going to make something happen? This is not a request, Dave. This is a command. Those are the words the Lord was speaking to my heart. Well, I want to tell you, if God is trying to get your attention, you better heed his desire. He wants to tell you something, to direct your path, maybe in a completely new and different direction. I had such a visitation in the wee hours of the morning in Reno, Nevada in 2011. I wasn't asked to start writing. I was told to do so. Can you get up after getting knocked down? Can you stand before your Creator and say, I'm yours, Lord, do with me as your will would have it to be? I hope you are. Because that's grit. That's gumption. That's the ability to bounce back after receiving a blow, even a knockout blow. Human beings are resilient. They leave a trail wherever they go. Your whole demeanor 
is on display to any and all who are near you or watch you or listen to you. It's a great responsibility, so you better do the right thing if you want the rewards and right results. So let's get back to what's happening now. The end of the year is here. It's time to step back and reflect on what you did and didn't do over the last 11 months. A snapshot. What is changed since a year ago today? Measure your business on an annual basis. Work in the areas that need improvement. Enjoy the areas that are strong and eliminate the great areas of weakness that we all possess. Sounds like a tall order, but it's not. It's a decision away. One billionth of a volt of electricity is required for the human body to create a thought. Don't be afraid of electrocution. It's not going to happen. Exercise this beautiful thing known as your brain that God gifted you and use it for its intended purposes. Now, if you have no clue about what I'm talking, you need to make sure you're into the Word of God every day, reading it. You need to make sure you're in a church where you can be fed from the Word of God. You need to make sure that you associate with people that can raise you to higher levels in life rather than hold you down where you're at. And if you're hanging with people that hold you down, flee, get away from them. It may be painful when you do it, but you'll be glad you did it down the road. Our nation is divided. Our leaders in our nation are confused. You can't be an American without being for American standards, values. To know them, you've got to know history. Hence, this website. It is designed to teach you the important areas of life that I have gleaned from other men and women and that I've I've practiced through the development of my business. But I'm still learning more. It's quiet and that's where you do your best thinking. Avoid distractions when you're thinking about what you're going to do and what you have done or failed to do. Know who you are and where you're going. If you will do that and live life intentionally, you're going to be a lot happier. And when you take a snapshot of your business, of your life, of your family, a year from now, you're going to see great improvements. That's why you need to document it. Look, you will be the happiest when you're the most productive. Now that requires work, energy, and effort being expended. If you're doing all that needs to be done, not trying to do it, not giving it a whirl, but getting it done, good things are going to start happening. Your business grows by exposure. Therefore, the one who exposes the business opportunity the most will always have the biggest business. But you just live up to the potential that was placed in you at your conception. You were given talents and abilities that none other has give, been given just like yours. We're all individuals. No two people are the same. Friends, i got to tell you, there's a lot to life. And there's so much opportunity in our nation today. It just takes one man or one woman or one couple to step out away from the crowd and say, my view from here on out is upward and forward. I am no longer going to look backward or downward. Success 
occurs at the top. And the road to the top is always uphill. You want to make it? Know what you're working for, know where you're going, know how you're going to get there, and then begin to read books and associate with other successful people then it can, that can help you make the journey to your dreams and goals. Hang around with the busiest, hardest working, most demanding people you can find. Now, when you do that, just remember that most people won't do that. And they'll have 471 reasons why they can't, when we all know they could. But it is that continuity of work ethic that produces the results you're after. So you really cannot afford to take time off when you're at the task of achieving your dreams. Get started, stay started, and keep going until you reach your destination. And every year, evaluate your performance. And if something isn't right, change it right now. Get it right and get it done. You can have anything in life you want if you're just willing to help enough other people get what they want first. Peace and love to all of you and Merry Christmas.